On its 18th flight, Ingenuity landed in a field of sand ripples, burying all four of its carbon fiber feet. Ingenuity's latest flight, number 19, had to pull free of the sand, straining its already compromised lift capability. On this episode of Mars Guy. The Perseverance rover landed next to the feature known as CETA nearly one year ago and has been exploring and sampling the scientifically important rocks in and around it before heading off to the Delta. Ingenuity first proved its flight capabilities in a small airfield and then undertook a scouting mission for Perseverance. It crossed this lobe of CETA in a single record-breaking flight seven months ago. Here's the Great Pyramid of Giza for scale. The return path had to be broken up into four segments because the lower atmospheric density during the summer season requires spinning the rotors faster. This uses more power. The previous flight was designed to land inside CETA to avoid the rocky terrain at the edge. This meant landing on some small ripples that are much more benign. Here's the view from Ingenuity's color camera from 10 meters or about 33 feet up. And here's Mars Guy for scale. These images show the carbon fiber foot at the end of Ingenuity's leg, which gets buried after landing. This is what it looks like in a shot from the rover's MassCam Z camera early in the mission. It's different from the other three because this foot was used to secure Ingenuity to the rover belly prior to deployment. The color camera looks 30 degrees forward and catches the front two feet, and the downward looking black and white nav cam catches the rear two. This is the sequence of NavCam images from the descent onto the ripples during Flight 18. The color camera image taken 10 sols later clearly shows that the left foot got buried during landing. Here I've lightened the shadow of the rotor blade. The right foot pushed up a small mound of sand and can't be seen. Here's the NavCam view of the other two feet. This one sunk in up to its ankle. The other one is harder to see, but it looks like it might have pushed up a little mound. Another image taken five sols after landing shows no apparent change other than the shadow, but sometime during the next five sols it looks like Ingenuity may have gotten slammed by wind. The scene appears to shift and the image shows blotches that probably are from dust stuck to the camera lens. It was finally time to take flight this week. Here's the first image after takeoff. Toggling between it and an earlier image shows how sand got pulled along. It's hard to tell what's going on with this foot, but this other one clearly shows sand trailing away. There's enough sand to cast a recognizable shadow. The next image up shows that all four feet left behind little craters after takeoff so it probably took just a little bit more effort to get off the ground, but Ingenuity flew straight up and then continued on its way. Here's what that looks like at about twice the actual speed. You can see the transition from sand ripples to the rocky edge of Sita. There's a gap here where some images have yet to be downlinked, but all the images from the final descent are down and show the successful landing right next to the rover tracks from seven months ago. There's a weird splotch in these final images that must be a piece of material kicked up by rotor downwash, but the shape is really strange, not like a blurry sand grain, which is what you'd expect to be kicked up. So this is another mysterious blob in an in Ingenuity NavCam image.